All right, so check this out. As y'all can see right there, right there in the center, it was not uh, enough pressure, not even pressure throughout the garment. And as you can see, the sublimation ink did not take there. Same on this one. It's a little harder to see, especially when you further back. But if you look closely, you can see where there, it was not even pressure. And let me show y'all what happened and why that happened. All right, so here we have my red Caesar heat press, which I've used for 10 years, which I've used to sublimate a lot of shirts with. Over here, we have uh, this heat press nation swing away press. And as you can see here, if I take this sheet of paper, just a plain sheet of copy paper, and I place it in there like, uh-oh, and I place it in there like so, and then I clamp it down. All right, right here on this side, as you can see, I can slide that paper out. Let's do it on the right side. You want to do it on, check it on all four sides, right? Now right here on the right side, with it clamped down, I cannot slide that paper out. Which means there's more pressure on this side than there is on this side. You want to try all four sides though, right? against the AC okay now in the back watch this came out so easy I might even be able to slide it back in it came out so easy see look at that on this right side back here I think I can slide it in like that no can I get it in there let's see let's lift this up Let's place it in there. Let's lock it in. Can we pull it out? We can pull it out back there. We pull it out like, uh. But we can't pull it out right here, which means there's more pressure here on this right front. All right. Now, let's move over here to this, to my old school Caesar red clamshell heat press. Watch this, y'all. Y'all gonna be amazed at this. Watch this. All right, so I'm gonna put it in there like that. I'm gonna close this bad boy down, right? Watch this. We're gonna slide it this way. Oh, we can slide it that way. Oh, so easy. Look, slide it this way. Oh, look, slide it this way. Oh, oh, what that? What does that mean? That means there's consistent, even pressure throughout the whole uh, plating. Which means that when I sublimate these shirts today, they're going to sublimate A-OK -okay and not like you just seen in the previous video. And I'm out. So, um, I'm not out yet. Wait a minute. Hold on. What y'all need to do is take it, place a piece of paper inside your press, close it, and you want to adjust the pressure to where you can pull it out you know what i mean or even slide it in you know what i mean boom like so you can do that evenly around your press you're ready for sublimation and i'm out what's going on youtube my family and my friends Excellent dreams here back with another exclusive video and What we're doing here today. We're doing a little sublimation with rhinestones. We have this red shirt here And we have this white shirt here 
Now in this white shirt, I could have actually sublimated the red on it, but I went ahead and uh, and pressed on red vinyl. We're gonna layer clear stones inside of that. But for this red one, we're going to take this sublimated, this sublimated image here that has this red background, I mean, this red inside with the dark outline. And we're gonna sublimate it onto this shirt. After that, we're gonna layer red rhinestones on top. So of course, you know, we gotta trim those edges off real quick. All right, after we trim those edges off, we want to grab some of our heat transfer tape so that we position it correctly and, and get it down on the shirt so it won't move. Also, let me grab a piece of packing paper, slide a piece of packing paper in the inside so that the sublimation image does not transfer onto the back of the shirt. You did! Now let's get this paper in there real quick. Bada boom, bada bing. You know what I mean? I just like to fold it, you know, and just slide it right on in there. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, all right. I lay it on the press real quick. Like, ba -da, ba -ba -da. right now is where you want to test your pressure. I like to test the pressure with the collar of the shirt off of the press. Ah, look, 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 look. That's way too much pressure. So let's draw back some pressure. A couple of little turns of the notch. That's still too much. Come back, just one turn. Uh, half turn. That's perfect. All right. And in doing so, we've knocked all the moisture out of the shirt. Let's go ahead and apply our graphic, our sublimated image. All right. Now we want to grab our heat tape so we can lock down that sublimation image so it doesn't move. If the tape will work with me. Come on, play it. All right, there we go. I got some. All right, you don't need a lot. Just a little snippet, snippet. And snippet, you know what I'm saying? Little, two little pieces. Now, if y'all have seen me working at home, I have like a, it's like a, a work, a work, uh, a workbench, I guess that I work with at home. And this one in particular, it's a cart. So it has multiple shelves on it. So now I can, on my uh, on my other one, I had like a little landing area right below the heat press where I can sit like my scissors, my tape, you know. Uh, maybe I might need a ruler at the press or whatever. All of that is now readily available in this cart here. I got uh, vinyl at the bottom of the cart, rhinestones at the bottom of the cart. So, especially when I'm dealing with a clamshell heat press, this this is perfect. And it's on wheels, so I can move it around the room. Duly noted. All right. So, let's go ahead and cover this with packing paper. After we cover it with packing paper, we're going to sub it in, sub it in. <laughs> All right, we're going to sub it in for 60 seconds. We got 38 seconds more left to go. Also, if you like this design that I got on my shirt right now, Please check out my Etsy shop. I have it going for 50% off right now where you can 
download the template files, the sublimation images, images. You get, if you've ever downloaded any one of my files, you'll notice that you get multiple sublimation images to make multiple uh, colorways with. We, su we subbing this in, three, two, one. Now look at this sub job right here, y'all. When you got flat, even pressure, it comes out and it looks like this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look. Flat, even pressure all the way through. Look at them colors. Pop! Hold on. All right, all right. So this right here, this is a size large, but it's 65% polyester, 35% cotton. We're gonna sub something on this, y'all. That's another thing that I have forgot. I gotta go all the way downstairs. I need a pressing pillow. Definitely need a pressing pillow when you're dealing with sublimation. And you're going to be sublimating the backs of items. Because then you have to deal with the, uh, the collars on the front. Creating that indention. Pre-press the moisture out of the shirt. What do I want to press? We're going to go ahead and press this in. Right now, right now. Oh, we got this other one, this gold one over here. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Alright, I haven't cut the, let me cut them, the ink off, them edges player. Now this one's going to look a little different because we got the distressing in the background, which I can't really see now. But once that heat hits it and that sublimation ink get activated, all of them little speckles and stuff on top out, y'all. This is a size large uh, men's v-neck. You would like this shirt. I have them going for only $75. $75. It has about 3,500 rhinestones in the shirt. It's a lot of bling. Trust and believe. All right. My heat transfer tape, my heat tape, heat resistant tape. Snip it. Snip it. Snip it. Let's get it. Just go and get it. With no hesitation. All right. Now. Tomorrow, I'm going to sublimate using the other swing away that I have downstairs. And we're going to swing away. We're going to press on that. See if we can get 100% pressure on that as well. But I know my good old Red Caesar here gets the job done. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try that uh, and do a press out and see if we can get some good sublimation images out of that. But for right now, let's let's sub it in, sub it in. We're down to our last 13 seconds. 
six, five, four, three, two, beep. You know you got a good sub when you see it on the paper, on the transfer paper, baby. Watch this though, look at this. I'm gonna bring my other tripod in here so we get a better vantage point, but. Check me out. Woo! See, y'all didn't even see all of those colors. Y'all didn't even see all of those colors on the, on the transfer paper. Look how they popped out. There's red speckles and stuff. Sub it in, sub it in. Now that's got stones to go on that too, y'all. Woo! Alright, now let's cut this heat press down. Let's cut it down, cut it down to 320. Cut it down to 320 so we can get our, press our stones in. Boom. Now as that is getting down to 320, I can bring y'all over here and show y'all 